you know, the holidays are supposed to be some joyous, magical celebration. But if you're a trader, they suck. Why does it suck, you might ask? Well, because there's no volume, there's no speed in the market, and there's no volatility. Those three things are vital, vital <laughs> to the way that I trade. Uh, without volume, without the volatility, and without the speed, it is really detrimental to the way that I trade the market, or the way that I trade the NASDAQ, anyway. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of sitting on your hands and a lot of waiting for, for the right setup. Um, so I use Quantower to trade with, and there's something that I noticed last night, or actually right now, today, making this, that once you close Quantower and go to reopen it, it takes all of your previous history of your trades away. See how this chart has no marks on it at all? I took like three trades right here. I took three more trades over here. So all of that's gone. But lucky for you, I recreated it from memory a little bit. So on Sunday nights, the Asian Sunday open, I would say 99% of the time, uh, almost maybe even 100% of the time, that's an exaggeration. But uh, the initial pop, I will short. So the first two trades, Sunday night, I shorted. The red marks here and here, I went short. I remember I'm taking one contract for eight ticks, which is two points. Well, the volatility, once it opens, it is sitting there moving sporadically back and forth, back and forth. And uh, yeah, so those two trades, you're literally in it for like two seconds and it pops you out of them. And then I notice we keep pushing, I go long, and here is my other observation of the Asian session Sunday open. <laughs> and that it is it retraces a lot of the time. Whether it runs up big and then sells off hard. Or whether it drops down big and then comes storming right back up. There is a lot of times it will, will if not completely retrace the move, retrace... 80% of it, 90% of it, just like it did last night. Um, that is just an observation on my part. You might experience something different. You might look at it differently. I don't know. I'm just saying from, from my vantage point, a lot of the times it will completely undo what it does in the beginning. And last night was no exception to that. So I waited, I was patient, and then I wrote it back down for, for three. And I only made... 10 total trades in, in two of my three accounts, okay? Right. And again, I don't have those markings on Quantower. I know at um, 3 a.m. this morning, I took two more trades. They were all to the short side. So somewhere in this area from three to four, I went short two more times. And then I know for a fact, I shorted it both of these two moves down right here today. Uh, and again, it's one contract for two points or eight ticks and you're, and you're out. And then that concluded my, my day. Um, really, so here is what you really want to see. Um, the brand new account, 715, 20 trades. I'll take it, I like it. That's a great start, that's an awesome start. And uh, 340 on the other two accounts, 10 trades each. And this is where I've got to do some um, psychological work on myself here. Because I feel like that I have shortchanged myself when in fact I haven't. $340, even if it is just one account, is a stellar freaking day. Right? That is an awesome day. 
for me, that is an awesome day. Nobody's going to turn down $340. I don't think any of us would say, $340, you keep it. <laughs> but my problem is, is I know I can do more than that. Right? I know that I can crank out a $700 day if I just keep plugging away. I um, also know that I can blow them up. I've, I've demonstrated that numerous times that I'm very capable of destroying a, a fully funded account. <laughs> but I guess potential-wise, potential-wise, I know that I can make more than 340 And it's hard sometimes for me to stop. And I stopped today because the market was choppy. Um, it, was getting, you know, it was a half a day. The volume wasn't there. Uh, I've been rug pulled on days like today before where you get in an order, you get stuck in it, and you're like, oh, I'll just let it sit for a little bit and see where it goes. And then the next thing you know, you end up on your head. So I, I didn't try to push it today. But I'm saying that mentality, I've got to be able to work work through that mentality better. And the other thing I got to do better is get better at taking a loss, get better at pulling the plug once it, once it cracks through a neckline. You know, if it was, uh, if this, let's say I was long right here and it comes down and it fails this neckline or it fails VWAP right here to go ahead and get out of it, take the freaking $400 loss and get out of it, bro. I've, I've got to get better at that or I'm just not going to be successful at this. So, uh, my plan for these three accounts, it's only three, <clears throat> but my plan for these three, and I still got a long way to go. Still got, you know. This is only, well, Tuesday will mark day two for, for these two accounts. Um, but I think I can get all three of them to pay out on the first if I trade them every day, which I can, as long as I don't destroy them. <laughs> uh, but um, once I do that, I'm going to take and I am going to get a bunch of evals. I want, I want 10 total funded accounts. And I have given up on my dream of the 150Ks. First of all, if you haven't hit the like button, it's down there somewhere. I don't know if you can find it. It's down there. If you can find it, the thumbs up. If you could hit it, that would be great. Um, but I've given up on my, my vision of the 150Ks because, A, they're expensive. B, I kind of don't need them. If I can make 300 or $700 with one contract with the 50k accounts. I don't really I don't need the 150s. The the only differential the the only different thing I do with the 150 as opposed to the 50k is one contract. Right? I trade the 150s with with two contracts. I trade the 50k with one contract. Same exact way. 8 ticks and I take profit. Eight ticks take profit. Granted, I get to 340 a lot quicker, or I get to that magic number of 400 a lot quicker, but I don't know if it's really worth it. You know? Um, passing the $9,000 evaluation, I've done it. I've done it numerous times. Uh, it's not easy, but it's very doable. But I just don't think it's worth it. It is so much easier to... Uh, it is very easy to crack off 3K in a day. It's not easy to crack off 9K in a day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the 50Ks for a little bit going forward. Maybe after I make a substantial amount of money, I will try it again to go, to go back and get the 150s. Um... The thought of having 10 of 10 50k funded accounts again is pretty uh, pretty enticing to me. So so that is going to be my goal uh, going forward. And we'll see if I can't protect the capital and make it to pay out with these three. We'll see. The journey continues. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Catch you next time. Take care.